During filming, we were just in time to see a train leaving Evercreech Junction for Temple Coombe. After coal, the line proceeds to Wincanton. Ken takes up the story. And the next station reached after a little climbing is Wincanton in the Valley of the Kale. Driving into Wincanton provided a glimpse of the infrastructure as it used to be. No more pints sent there. All that's gone, of course, though Wincanton PLC still thrived. That's gone, of course. And here comes a train from Tempuku. Speaking in the early 1970s, Ken was a shade pessimistic about the future of Tempuku. The place itself is really too small to justify a station on any line. And once the S&D was closed, the station lost its raison d'etre. But it was an important junction in its day and the scene of some peculiar operations. This diagram illustrates how a train from Bath to Bournemouth had to leave the S&D main line to call at Temple Coombe Junction, reverse over the same line and then go on to the south. Here a train coming into Templecombe Junction on the sharp curve at the s &D. These gentlemen arriving for work at Templecoo might well have their thoughts fixed on a railman's breakfast. And well deserved at that. That's how things used to be. Yummy. Who knows, perhaps they were bringing this in. No doubt departing north. And here comes another arrival and departure, quite delightful to record the sounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
or you could depart Bunker first before continuing on to Bournemouth. And bottom left, a couple of shadowy figures about to clock on, I think. And finally, a memorable winter sequence at Temple Coombe. One of the bus operators defaulted at the 11th hour and the line was reprieved for a brief spell. Then came the worst winter for many years. It was almost as though nature were aiming a final blow at the almost prostrate body of the s &D. Some of the few remaining trains performed their intricate manoeuvres about the junction at Temple Coombe. From the 5th of January 1965, a so-called interim emergency service was introduced, consisting of morning and evening trains each way on the Burnham branch and four trains in each direction on the main line, stopping at all stations, five trains between Temple Coombe and Bournemouth. No train left Bath for the south between 8.15am and 4.25pm and there was no longer any reasonable through service from Bath to Bournemouth. All this amounted to something worse than the minimum bus services stipulated in the Minister's consent to closure. The official reasons were given as shortage of staff and insufficient motive power to maintain services at their previous level, which was low enough. Here we see a train from Evercreech Junction to Bournemouth backing out of Temple Coombe and now coming forward under the Southern Region main line. <laughs> 